Yeah, hello and welcome to another rapid game on Lee Chess. This is 15 plus 3 and I'm playing N, NVF. Yeah, okay. He's rated 2100. I'm currently, I'm trying to get better opponents, higher rated opponents, but it is not uh, not that easy to do. In fact, I've tried to get uh, yeah minimum 2200, but that uh, it was difficult. So 2100 is my minimum at the moment, what I try. Okay, I'm playing an exchange variation of the Rui Lopez. This is a very solid line. This line here with knight c3 um, is um, a special weapon of um, yeah one of the one of the coaches for my state chess federation. Um, he plays this uh, frequently and um, has shown some lines when we when we met a couple of weeks ago for the German youth championships. I showed some lines to students, but I was present and uh, I felt, okay, why not give it a go? Yeah, knight c3 is actually a little bit different than castles because after castles, e5 is somewhat hanging, but there are some lines where black can actually ignore the threat to this because of the queen d4 resource. Um, now, yeah, now e5 is hanging for real, and this is one of those moves that um, covers the pawn. So here I have uh, some options. d4 is the most straightforward one, and I'm going for it. I wonder actually, now that I think of it, is my knight correctly placed on c3 here? Yeah, queen d4, f6 f6 in those lines often white plays knight d2 c4 in case of castling but here i can castle long this is this is really a bit different okay i'm taking with this yeah f6 is more or less forced G7 is hanging and there is no other way to protect it. No, yeah, there's no other move. A bit surprised that he takes a while. So, um, how to play here? I think I should probably go for long castling. Yeah, so bishop e3 long and maybe something like queen d2 bishop f4 trying to get rid of the bishop pair. The queen on d4 is also sometimes able to sidestep to c4 and prevent him from castling short. Okay. Probably just overprotecting e5. So I wanted to castle long anyway, so okay, might as well do it. The, the drawback of this is that the knight has no clear development idea. Maybe knight h6 is a move, but that's not something you are happy with most of the time. Hmm, that's surprising. Hmm. I'm a little bit unsure what the idea is. Does he really want to take here? Hmm. That would be strange. B6. 
be a strange decision. What is this doing? Hmm. Okay, I'm not quite sure. Taking on c3 makes no sense at all. Maybe bishop to b6, but I don't mind to trade this. Absolutely not. Hmm. It's weird. Okay, but what, what am I playing actually? Not that clear. I like this move somehow. Bishop g4 is something that might be on his agenda and it prepares g4. Also, I'm really not sure where to uh, place my other pieces. I mean, everything else is good. The knight cannot go to any of those squares, b5 or d5. And it could be improved, but I don't want to move it away. Maybe he really wants to take. And uh, that would be really nice. Of course, I just take with the queen and sacrifice the e4 pawn. That's not playable for black. Like takes, takes. Like takes, takes, queen takes, rook e1, and I'm threatening bishop c5. That's that black can absolutely not play. Yeah, I don't think so, at least. No development, nothing, hmm, no. So, what is he doing? Just developing, okay. Yeah, g4, is that an idea? Gaining, gaining some space. Knight to d4 is also something that makes some sense. Yeah, maybe Let, let's gain this tempo. I mean, he wants to go to a5, it seems, and that's really not something that I mind very much. Hmm. But what am I doing after it? Bishop a5. Not entirely sure where I should put the queen. I want to move the queen and play knight d4, but Maybe just queen to d3, like bishop a5, queen d3 for knight d4, but that would step, okay, he just goes back, hmm, mysterious. Okay, so probably just centralize. One idea here is that, okay, castling long would be very funny. <laughs> queen a7 and black uh, is in terrible shape. But even after rook d8, I've got queen a7. This is why I have not yet moved the queen. And again, currently he has a problem with his development. The knight, I guess, does not want to go to h6. Uh, that allows knight to d5. Um, yeah, I guess here. Yeah. Bishop f4. Still good to have. And it prevents knight h6 completely. Yeah, I guess he will probably cast along. Knight d5 is possible. Hmm. Yeah, but it's not like long castles. 
knight d5 he can probably move the queen to f7 maybe I have a funny line eh? long castles knight d5 queen f7 bishop c5 bishop c5 knight b6 and I'm winning but it's not forced after long castles knight d5 queen f7 bishop c5 this bishop takes d5 and black uh, where a uh, queen d5 no it doesn't work but bishop f4 is a simple move not going to spend much time on that that's a good move trading off his bishop pair and the uh, structure remaining is pretty nice expect him to take on f4 don't don't really see a good move besides that okay now knight h6 is possible but he has to reckon with knight to d5 amongst others and still it feels like quite comfortable after the bishop pair has been taken off the board so knight here knight h6 if i go knight d5 queen to f7 is there there is nothing extremely promising i think I mean, I can just play technically. I yeah? take everything off and try to play an ending. Mm, no, maybe Bishop F four was a little bit too lame. Okay, let's play. Let's play the ending. White is hoping for the king and pawn ending. 2e3, no, no that, that is still a good square. Yeah, king and pawn ending would be nice. That is uh, considered to be winning, even though you still have to be precise. It's something that I recently checked. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a sort of given knowledge that uh, the king and pawn ending is, is winning for white and uh, the exchange we but um, it is something that uh, still has to be done it's not totally simple yeah, if you do it against a computer you can easily fail I've tried it <laughs> it's not I didn't I didn't do it in 100% of the time okay so before you before you make fun of me try it out <laughs> yourself i've given this to a couple of international masters and they also didn't win every single one okay so we are nearing uh or we have um we have gotten in further uh, simplifications this is interesting because now he has to play c4 c6 is a bit strange Isn't that funny? That bishop has no squares. He has to go to d8 with the knight. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, and then uh, just taking is probably good. I have knight d4 as well. Knight d4 and the bishop has to go back. Okay, he just retreats, but... Here, king c3 should be pretty strong, actually. Yeah, 
A4, A5 also comes into consideration. But what is the strongest here? Can I just win material? Like here. You cannot move the B-pawn, it drops A6. Hmm. I think he just loses a pawn. C6 was a very um, very loose move in some way. It wasn't necessary also. There was no uh, particular need, I believe, to play this. Yeah, the exchange Rui is a pretty good choice if you like a more technical game. It's, it's less complicated to play than a mainline Rui and uh, it still has some bite. Some bite. I don't know what's best here, to be honest. What the what the relatively best defense is. It looks pretty pretty bad. Yeah, I think the main problem was that he played c6. Yeah? that weakens enormously. You usually want a b6 structure to cover c5. I mean, I think here black is okay. So he, play, he tried b5. Yeah, sorry for the drinking, but it's a, it's a terribly hot here in the office. Yeah, the next step is uh, knight back to c5. And then I can try king d4 and then f4, just uh, move the majority forward. The other thing, that is kind of promising is to put the knight onto c5. Hmm, where is he going? Yeah, that is that is best anyway. I need to get it back. Knight is really nice on c5. Yeah, so the alternative idea that is also quite good is a4. I'm trying to get a passer with a5 and yeah, I think this is a good choice. If he takes, knight takes. Mm -hmm. And knight b5 is actually a little bit annoying. It didn't happen. Okay. So now a5, yeah. Get the get a passer. The next, what I would do next is actually really is b4 maybe, play play to cover this. And if he takes, pawn takes, then b4 next. That is uh, pretty strong to get a protected pawn on a5. And then push f4 and so on. Maybe I can also just push f4 immediately, f4, e5. It's, 
hard for him certainly to deal with the A and the E pawn. Yeah, knight b7, I'm happy to trade. He's, he's got nothing here. Yeah? Bishop cannot move. There's also knight e6. Don't see a good way for him to to um, put up any resistance. This is not strictly necessary, but I think it's technically uh, quite simple. To play like that. I think he will most likely capture, but I don't need to pre-move here. Yeah, I've got such a comfortable time advantage. Okay. So yeah, just king d4. Yeah, what is the next step to play here? Probably I should try to improve the knight here. Knight is not strong. Maybe a f uh, h4 here is a move. Yeah, but many things will win. I mean, f5 is, uh, is, is Black's idea, it seems. Can even play g4. If I want, but yeah, you can do small improvement moves and then see what happens. This is useful anyway. f5, I have e5 also. Yeah, here knight f3, I thought. Covering e5 and maybe with the idea to play e5 myself. Yeah, to be a bit cautious there, I go e5 and then this g4. One thing that he also has to keep in mind is that a6 is always forcing um, forcing the king to b6 or b8, and then I have check and knight f6, which actually picks up the, 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 the bishop here for more or less nothing. Yeah, click. Um, lost on time. Um, yeah, I think c6 was the main, the main thing that was the problem. So let's uh, have a look at the analysis board. And have a look. <laughs> mm. 
interesting sometimes to follow the chat yeah the exchange really is not a bad opening for white is it it's from the black um, players perspective i think it's not if you played with black and you know what you're doing it's it's not super threatening but it is something that is a very low risk thing that you can play with white and um, you can you can win many games uh, and then lose nothing if you play it correctly i think okay so knight c3 here f6 is uh, by far the most popular move after which it normally uh, goes like goes like this this is how this normally goes and then the bishop comes here and knight to f3 and so on it's okay yeah bishop d6 so i played d4 takes takes yeah here f6 is more or less forced Bishop e3 looks completely normal, I think. And now queen to e7. That was a bit of a strange decision. I thought knight e7 looks completely normal. Well, then bishop e6, castle short, this kind of thing. Yeah, queen e7 is, is difficult for him to develop. Yeah, bishop b4, I couldn't quite yeah piece together what the idea was just this looks normal i mean black is slightly uncomfortable but um black is slightly uncomfortable but it's nothing special i mean i'll probably do this and yeah a couple of useful moves king b1 queen d2 bishop f4 these kind of things Bishop b4 was played, h3. Yeah, bishop, that, that was a strange move, yeah. Bishop b4 and, and going back. So I centralize and now you went c5. Ah, yeah, the engine thinks queen a4 is a lot stronger. Yeah, hmm. Okay, I was only thinking in terms of queen d2, bishop f4, but okay, that makes some sense, yeah. Bishop here, queen c4, and then you're ready for this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, white is definitely better here. That is better than my move. I'm keeping an advantage here, but nothing. It's nothing fantastic, of course. Knight h6. Yeah, and now I didn't really see anything better than going into this, this ending. But okay, I mean, that's what you want in this opening. The, the engine um, thinks it's equal after rook d1. Yeah, that's, it's possible. It's possible. I, I really went with this keep it simple method. Just uh, play simple moves. The engine likes e5. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I played this superficially. gives black 0 0.1 yeah I think it's, it's just it's just equal this position but it's still something that you can definitely play I mean it's not like an immediate draw yeah c6 was a pretty bad mistake pretty bad mistake yeah king d7 or some some normal move he has a, the issue is really he has no good way now to play as he four is just strategically extremely uncomfortable and otherwise the pawn is lost yeah, b5 is supposed to be better but i still i still take the pawn right no b6 is given by the comp okay because now i cannot take a6 but i can just take this yeah Okay, no, but the computer really wants to play b6 now. But that also sucks. Yeah, it's also a winning ending. Yeah, here you don't really have much, much choice. 
Uh, here, black, I expected him to take, but the position remains pretty terrible. I take like this, and then like b4, king d4, and so on. Just no fun. Yeah, computer keeps giving blacks like um, some kind of mistake, but it is lost anyway. And there's really no way to put up any resistance. So I spoiled um, a larger advantage by trading down to the ending. And the ending is equal, but he has to avoid c6. That was a really bad mistake. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.